Hi, I'm Dr. Evan Matthews. I'm going to be showing you how to use the ACSM walking and running equations in order to calculate the speed that the treadmill needs to be set at when you already know the grade that the treadmill will be set at and you know the oxygen consumption rate that the exercise belt requires. So let's go ahead and get started and we're going to use a question to help us frame the situation here. So we have Andrew, he's a client at your gym. He tells you he wants to use 10% grade on the treadmill so that he can work his calves well doing his cardiorespiratory exercise. And so assuming that he's healthy enough to do that um, and there's no reason not to allow him to work at a high uh, grade if that's what he chooses to do and that's what motivates him, so sure, let's let him do it. Um, so he was prescribed an exercise intensity equivalent to 25 milliliters of oxygen per uh, kilogram of body mass per minute. Um, he wants to know how fast he should set the treadmill speed in order to work at this intensity um, while using a 10% grade. And note, we don't know if he should be walking or running, um, so we'll have to make some decisions after doing both the walking and running equations to figure out that. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's look at the variables given to us. 25 milliliters per kilogram per minute uh, for the oxygen consumption rate or the VO2. And we have a grade of 10%, which I'm gonna go ahead and convert that real quick right off the bat to a decimal. So all you're gonna do is divide 10% by 100 to get 0 0.10 to give you the decimal format for the grade. You're gonna need the decimal format in order to do these calculations in um, the ACSM uh, equations. So the first equation that we need to look at is the running equation. So the running equation is VO2 in relative units, so milliliters of oxygen per kilogram of body mass per minute is equal to, uh, in open parentheses, 0 0.2 times speed, close parentheses, plus open parentheses again, 0 0.9 times speed times grade, close parentheses, plus 3.5 mLs per kg per minute. And that 3.5 mLs per kg per minute at the end there represents the resting component of the exercise. All right, so let's go ahead and move this equation around into the format we need in order to isolate the S, which is the speed. Um, and then we'll show you how to do the same thing with the walking equation. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do and probably the step that most people will forget about and can't quite figure out, is I need to collect the speeds together in this equation. So notice we have speed here, we have speed here, they're both in parentheses. Um, so we need to pull the speed out of the parentheses and combine it. So we need to collect together the S uh, values. And so here is our starting place. Once we pull the, the speed out, we can pull it out here and collect it into an S by itself. And because we're left with 0 0.2 here in this parenthesis, nothing else in this parenthesis, and it, both this parenthesis and this parenthesis is being multiplied by the S, we can actually combine these two with whatever's left over here. So we end up with speed times in parentheses here, 0.2 from this set of parentheses plus the 0.9 times grade from this parenthesis over here. So we are essentially, again, pulling out the S and then combining these two parentheses. So we end up with speed times 0.2 plus 0.9 times grade within parentheses plus the 3.5 from the original equation. And now we can actually start moving things around since we have the speed all in one spot in the equation in order to essentially move things to the other side of the equal sign. So the first thing I'm gonna move is the 3.5, so the plus 3.5 at the end. I'm gonna uh, subtract 3.5 from both sides of the equation, which cancels out this 3.5, and we end up with VO2 in relative terms minus 3.5 equals speed times all that stuff in parentheses that we mentioned before. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this whole set of parentheses to the other side. Um, and so we end up with VO2 in relative terms minus the 3.5 that we did before, 
put that in parentheses and because this was multiplied against the speed over here, we need to divide it on the other side. Um, so we're just switching the sign when we move it to the other side because we, again, we're really dividing from both sides, canceling on one side, and adding it to the other side with a, a reverse sign. But so regardless, we end up with a uh, division symbol here in parentheses, the 0 0.2 plus the 0 0.9 times grade, close parentheses. And this gives us speed by itself in the other side of the equation. So this is the equation that we will use in order to calculate the speed. Remember though, we don't know if uh, he needs to walk or run in order to accomplish this. So we need to do this twice. We need to do this with the running equation that I already showed you. And also now with the walking equation that I'm about to show you uh, right now. And so the walking equation is very similar to the running equation. The only difference is the 0 0.1 and the 1.8 uh, as the constants here, where if we look back at the running equation, all right, the, this 0 0.1 was 0 0.2 in the running equation, and this 1.8 was 0 0.9 in the running equation. So that's the only difference between the running equation and the walking equation. So with that in mind, all these steps to rearrange the equation is exactly the same as what we did for the running equation. So I'm not going to go over each one individually. Um, but what we end up with, so the last step, very similar again to the running equation, we end up with VO2 in relative terms, minus 3.5, both all this in parentheses, divided by, open parentheses, 0 0.1 plus 1.8 times G for grade, close parentheses, equals the speed. All right, so very similar to what we had with the running equation. So now that we've rearranged both the running and walking equ equations here, let's start to use those rearranged equations and plug in our values. All right, so I'm gonna start with the running equation again. Um, so here is the equation after we rearranged it. I'm not gonna go over that right now because we just did that. Um, but plugging in our values, we plug in the 25 mLs per kg per minute, which is our intended oxygen consumption during the exercise bout that plugs in right here minus 3.5, which is just the constant from the uh, resting component, divided by uh, all this again in parentheses here, divided by open parentheses 0 0.2 plus 0 0.9, which are both constants, multiply that by the 0 0.1, 0, which is the grade uh, that we calculated, and that equals speed. All right, so let's start to solve some of this. All right, I'm gonna start with this first set of parentheses here. We're going to do 25 minus 3.5. We end up with 21.5 mLs per kg per minute. Now let's move to the other set of parentheses. Uh, we need to take care of the multiplication in the parentheses first. So 0 0.9 times 0 0.10 gives us 0 0.09. Then we need to finish this set of parentheses. So 0 0.2 plus 0 0.09 gives us 0 0.29. And now all we have to do is uh, finish this last step by dividing 21.5 by 0 0.29, and that gives us speed of 74.14 meters per minute, um, which is what they would need to plug into the running equation in order to uh, get them uh, to the, extra, the oxygen consumption that was prescribed to this individual. If we were to look at... Um, uh, if we were to plug this into a treadmill though, most treadmills don't, uh, at least in the United States, don't use meters per minute for the speed, so we would need to plug in the miles per hour. So the conversion factor here would be just to take the 74.14 meters per minute that we calculated in the previous step, divide that by 26.82, which is the conversion from meters per minute to miles per hour, and we end up with 2.76 miles per hour. And so if we, stop and think for a second here. Um, the running equation is most accurate whenever we have a speed of 5, uh, 5 miles per hour or greater. Um, so we have 2.76 miles per hour, which is way less than the 5 miles per hour. So running's probably not the appropriate uh, modality here. So we really shouldn't be using the running equation. We should use the walking equation and um, 
we're going to have to do that whole calculation because all the variables are slightly different. So we're going to get a slightly different miles per hour um, from the walking equation. Um, but they should be probably walking and using the walking equation. So let's go ahead and do that now. And so here is our walking equation that we rearranged, isolating the S for speed. Um, let's go ahead and plug in our variables. So again, we have 25 mLs per kg for the uh, VO2 that we're shooting for. We keep the 3.5, that's a, the standard resting uh, level of oxygen consumption. We have the 0 0.1 and the 1.8 here that are the constants from the walking equation. Remember these were different in the running equation. Um, and we have our grade still set to 0 0.10 for 10% grade. And so let's go ahead and start solving this. I'm going to solve this first one first. So 25 minus 3.5 gives us 21.5 mLs per kg per minute. Now we need to go to the other set of parentheses. We have the 0 0.1 plus 1.8 times 0 0.10. And so we need, to, we need to do the multiplication first. So the 1.8 times the 0 0.10 gives us 0 0.18. Now to finish off this set of parentheses, we just add together 0 0.1 and 0 0.18, and we end up with 0 0.28. So all we have left is to divide 21.5 by 0 0.28 to get the speed in meters per minute, and we end up with 76.79 meters per minute for the speed when they're walking. Remember, this is not the running equation, but the walking equation. And so again, let's get it to miles per hour so we can make sure that this fits the walking equation's uh, uh, ideal range as well as just so you can plug it into the treadmill because again, in the United States, you're not going to see meters per minute on a treadmill. So 76.79 meters per minute, divide that by the uh, uh, conversion factor of 26.82 and we end up with 2.86 miles per hour. Um, that's what you're going to put into the treadmill and the ACSM equation for walking is most accurate between 1.9 and 3.7 miles per hour so that's right basically in the middle so this is perfect so they should be walking they should be using 2.86 miles per hour in a 10% grade in order to get the 25 mLs per kg Per minute that they wanted for this bout of exercise. And just to kind of show this side by side, for the walking, well for the running and walking equations, we end up for the running equation we got 2.76 miles per hour. For the walking equation we got 2.86 miles per hour. Similar but they're not the same value. So you really do need to do them separately. You shouldn't be substituting one equation for the next. Alright, so a little more complicated than some of the other calculations we've done, but uh, still uh, very doable. I hope uh, I hope that you feel it's very doable at least, and I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to you. Otherwise, please come back and watch another video. Thanks.